What's up, world? This your boy, your one and only Money Moves with your boy, Mim 2.0. On this YouTube channel, every day we strive for financial excellence so you guys can live a better and prosperous, financially free tomorrow. As you guys know, on this YouTube channel, we talk a lot about a multitude of variety of topics from vlogs to current events, your city to my city, credit, how to use debt as leverage, uh, different types of loans, how to acquire real estate the non-traditional way, money and relationships. We mainly talk about relationships on this YouTube channel because every man knows that who he chooses to have an intimate sexual relationship with will have a high impact on his soon-to-be financial status. So guys, the topic of today is of the video. The topic of the video of today is this is part four of young American black man not wanting to work a job. So guys, before we get in this video, I just want to thank everybody who's been rocking with your boy, holding on strong with me since day one. I appreciate you guys. And we're going to grow together. I'm going I'm to share some good tools, you know, that you might be using. You can share with me and I can, if you want to share, share with the world, we can share it with each other. And, um, you know, we're going to network, we're going to grow and we're going to stay away from toxic women, masculine women. And if you guys would like to follow me on, um, on my official music page on YouTube, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Also, um, a link to my Instagram. So let's get straight into the content. So this is part four of a uh, young American black man not wanting to work a job. Um, Black man in America, a lot of young black men in America are getting influenced by a variety of things. Because for one, most of the time, 75% uh, of the time, the mother has already ran the father out of out of the life and she probably have been dating other guys and probably have children by other baby daddies. So now this young man is being influenced by everything. He's been influenced by, by the gangs in the neighborhood, uh, gangs at his high school, you know what I'm saying, college, um, guys in the neighborhood, older guys. He's older now, you know, but he wasn't raised by a strong, hardworking family unit who teaches him the value of working a job and saving, and saving mon managing, budgeting, investing money. You know, money is a tool. Money is to be worked for you. Money should work for you 100% of the time. Because it, when you start working for money, you know, you can work a job and not be working for money, basically. You know what I'm saying? Work a job because find something you like to do. I'm um, always say that find something you like to do so it's like you're really not working. A lot of you guys do not know how to find a job and stick with it. Be there early in the morning. Don't overdo it. You know what I'm saying? Don't go drinking. Don't go smoking the night before where you're all tired. You're going to be late. You have to be consistent and so you can move up in companies, you know? Um, and then the more valuable you become, the more your pay will go up. So what I'm seeing is a lot of young black men, older black men are not exempt from this as well because a lot of older black men too um but we're going to get in another video about older black men you know what I'm saying? how they make excuses and stuff um so a lot of guys will rather give the give standing on a corner or standing outside hanging out with so-called neighborhood friends for at least 16 hours a day. Once you wake up, you're gonna hit the you're gonna hit the street. You're gonna be hanging out, trying to. A lot of guys want to sell weed. You know what I'm saying? A lot of young black men start gang banging and stuff like that. But you rather give 16 to 20 hours with other people instead of putting eight to 12 hours on a job. You know, guys, when you depend on a job. When you depend when, when you depend on a job, you would never have to depend you won't you won't never have to depend on anyone else. You would never have to depend on anyone else. So when you fall, 
if you fall and you're not managing your money, you still got your job. You still got a check coming in every week. And most black men in America is not making over a thousand dollars a week because if you were making a thousand dollars a week then you wouldn't have no need to be in the streets you know what i'm saying you're working you got money you got money to play with you know what i'm saying you got you might pay a stack for rent at an apartment so you got three stacks to manage and budget on other bills uh to invest into stuff man but black man do not and America do not know how to manage money. You guys do not know how to manage money. You guys been saying your grandmothers, your mothers who, who do not have good financial skills, who don't really own anything. And they're not, and, and nobody's teaching you how to manage money. You know, uh, managing money can get you a long way. Um, You got to have... A lot of black men in America want to be rappers, want to be entertainment, entertainers, want to be these movie producers. But how are you going to afford the equipment? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm I'm a rapper. You know what I'm saying? I rap. I do R&B um, and studio equipment, mixing, mastering, buying exclusive rights to beats. You know what I'm saying? Um, the music videos, uh, promotion. That stuff is expensive. So um, a lot of you guys are really, you, you really got these big dreams of being rich and successful, but you're not going to ever get there because you because a lot of you guys are choosing the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? When you work, now you got money. You got money coming in. You can say, you can be like, oh, I'm going to drop one song every week or every couple of weeks or whatever. And you go up from there, you know, uh, but my channel mainly focuses focuses on the mind, but staying humble, being patient, and um, accurately and intentionally running into the bag, running into financial wealth, financial success, financial freedom without ha having to stumble over many roadblocks, guys. So, man, leave us the comments. You know, if you, if you guys want to tell some stories in the comments about somebody you know or something so you can help people, you know what I'm saying, the comments, or you want to tell me anything, man, leave a comment, man. Like I said, man, I appreciate you guys for subscribing and staying down with, with me since day one. Um, this all I have for this video today, guys. Um, I'm going to holler at you guys on the next rodeo. This your boy, you want it only. Money Moves with your boy, Mem 2.0, reporting live from an undisclosed location in the city of New York. Over and out.